Hey guys, Kem from Veteran Screen Printing. Today we're going to show you the tips on how we mix ink here in our shop. But first we're going to roll that intro and then get into it. Alright guys, so today we're going to show you how to mix ink. Today we're going to be mixing Pantone 208C, okay? Now, what's really good is with international coatings, you can actually type in the Pantone you want and it'll tell you exactly what um, inks you need to mix to make that Pantone color. Very helpful, it's free, doesn't cost you anything. And no, we are not sponsored by international coating, but that is one way I found to um, create inks for my customers. Now, let me grab um, a bucket real quick. Again, you can get um, Rubbermaid and Betty Crocker and all them um, at the dollar store. <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna use today. When you're making ink, you need a clean container and you need a scale. Now, I don't know about you guys, but in the very beginning, I was taking my clean um, container, putting it on the scale, and then from there, I was extensively just dropping in the ink I needed. And I don't know about you, but have you ever tried to drop ink in and then get put a little bit too much in? I know somebody's have. So, in this video, we're going to show you how we actually create ink, and we're actually only going to be creating 300 grams. And I found this way to be the easiest. Now, you can pretty much use something else, but I found, just a second, at the dollar store, plastic plates. Not paper, plastic, so you can wipe them off when you're done. So what I was doing or what I, we have been doing is we will set the scale to grams okay tear it so that's uh, you know um, that's at zero. Now it says red mixing, right? 256 grams. Again, we are mixing 208. And all I'm going to do is take the red. I'm going to give it a nice little stir. Make it a little bit easier to work with. And let me zoom you guys in to what I do here on the plate. So we got this set and we need 256 grams. So I'm going to keep this on one side. This ink I'm going to be putting it in, I'm going to put it, keep it on one side. And the reason for this is if I have put a little bit too much, it's easier to scoop. I can put my other color here, my other color here. And again, if I put a little bit too much, I can uh, take it out. So one, there goes two. That was two, um, two thirty four. Okay, we need two fifty six. So now this is where it comes in. Oh, there you go, two fifty six. So that's where it kind of gets tricky is when you're starting to get to the very, very end. All right. 
I'm going to tear that. So now the scale is zero again. Now it says white, 39 grams. So let's grab some of our white. Mix that around a little bit. Since 39 grams is not a lot, this is where you want to be careful. But the good thing, like I said, see I put a little bit too much on there already. I could take some and not even get, not even mess around with any of the red. And I'm fine. There it is. All right, next one is three grams of black. So as you guys know, that's like nothing. And that's actually it right there, that little dot. All right, so since I'm really done with all the other colors, I'm gonna put them away. I'm not going to need the red because we're already done with the red. But now I have a plate that has all my colors in it. I can pretty much take this and mix it around. I need to get a better scale for one. But now I have a plate with the colors on there. And I can turn around and mix it right here on this plate. without even causing any issues. Now I could put this already in the, the mixing bowl if I wanted to and then mix it in there. But I could just sit here and mix it on the plate. It came out to look like a, kind of like a pinkish um, color. I actually didn't know what color we we're making. I knew it was gonna be somewhere in the red category. Just didn't know exactly what. So there, mix that up. And like I said, I could take this, put it in here already. Maybe make it a little bit easier to mix inside. But the real reason why I use a plate is in case I, I uh, put a little bit too much of one color so I can actually take out if I need to that extra bit that I put in there makes it a lot easier when you do stuff do it like this and after every single color technically you could probably just put it right in the, the mixing bowl if you wanted to and then just do a tear um, but again, I just want to make sure that I can uh, take out any additional ink if I need to. And it, it's like I said, you can come in here and mix it around, do whatever you need to do. And then with this, grab a rag, grab some screen opener, some, some textile wash, whatever you want, and be done. I print my... Um, Right here, I print my uh, my Pantone out with the mixing on a uh, piece of paper or uh, a print my label, and then now I can stick it right here on my cup. So 
So that's how we do it here in our shop. Again, international coating, little tag. Um, and then dollar store plate, dollar store mixing cup. And there you go. That's how we mix ink here in our shop. Very quick, very easy. Again, I've seen people mix ink right in the bowl, but if you put a little bit too much in, then and you need to take any out, now you could have be taking out some of the other ink as well, especially if you're dealing with, for instance, that black only had a three grams. So you wanna make sure that you're not putting in more than three grams, but as well as if you put more in a cup and you need to take out the, the you know a little bit you don't want to take out the other colors so that's how we do it here in our shop it's worked pretty well again you can use something different you can probably get a i don't know maybe a little um plexiglass or something so you can see through um definitely depends on how you guys want to do it but we just figured we'll show you a little quick tip on what we do here in our shop. If you guys have anything you guys want to see, please let us know. We're trying to make content every single week. And with your guys' questions and us be able to answer them via video or in a reply on the comments. So you can email us in the description. We have our um, email, our website, especially if you're looking for our orders. We do print for companies all across the country. We're here in California, but we do print for companies all across the country. We actually just shipped out some shirts um, to New Jersey and also Idaho. So um, if you guys like this content, please like it, please share it. We're almost at a thousand subs. Definitely, definitely thank everybody for subscribing. If you already have, thank you so much. Um, like I said, if you guys want to see something, please let us know. You can email us or leave it in the comments below. We read them, we answer them to the best of our ability. Um, but until next time, be safe and have fun.